In this video, we will briefly explain the difference between two comparison methods, one called job-to-job -job and the other called proportional value. There are two additional videos that explain each in more detail. Haifa and Lucian, owners of Upcycled Fashion, just finished calculating the job rate for each job class in Step 4. They now have all the information they need to compare female job classes to male job classes. Now we can finally see if there are any pay discrepancies between our female and male job classes. The toolkit recommends that we try doing a job-to-job -job comparison first and then switch to the proportional value method if we can't find a job-to-job -job comparator for all our female job classes. What on earth does all that mean? Job-to-job -job comparison and the proportional value method are two different ways to match up female job classes with male job classes based on their point value. This is called finding a male comparator. Using the job-to-job -job comparison means that we compare the job class point value from step three for each of our female job classes to the point values of our male job classes. Recall from step three that point value represents the value that each job class contributes to our company's success. If the point values are similar enough, and I'll show you an example of how to do this next, we then compare the job rates. A female job class that has a point value that is close or equal to the point value of a male comparator should be paid at least the same job rate. If we discover that we have female job classes with point values that can't be closely matched to a male job class within our company, then we switch to the proportional value method, which uses a completely different approach. We still use the male job classes that we have, but instead of trying to find a single direct comparator, we use three or more male job classes at the same time to create an indirect comparison. Although the toolkit does these calculations automatically for us, it's important that we understand the difference between the two methods so we can make decisions that are right for us. The next two videos in this series explain these two comparison methods in more detail. This video presents one hypothetical business scenario. It is for information only and is intended to assist employers in complying with the Pay Equity Act. It is not to be construed or considered as legal advice, nor warranted to be complete and accurate and may be amended without notice. It does not restrict review officers of the Pay Equity Office in their interpretation and determination of matters under the Act.